if you had the choice, would you rather be president or first lady? Definitely president of the Philippines. Maybe not in the midst of this pandemic. That's a very, very hard thing to do. But I believe that women are not only meant to be in the sidelines or to be first lady, but we're meant to take place in society, to be leaders, and to affect change. And the reason why we join such a pageant such as Miss Universe Philippines is because we're empowered and we want to empower others. And what better way to make a difference in our community and in our country than to hold the highest position of office? If the world was blind, what would be the essence of beauty pageants? I think the essence of beauty pageants is not actually seeing in the eye. It's not about beauty. It's not about the glam. You know, those are just add-ons. But I think the essence of beauty pageants are your purpose, are your advocacies, your visions, your missions in life. And these are the big things that make pageants happen. And I think that's why they're very important and relevant, most especially during this pandemic. If the world was blind, the essence of the beauty pageants would be based on feelings and how you communicate with other people through words and also through kindness because kindness doesn't need to be seen. It needs to be felt. So I think that would be the essence of beauty pageant. Miss Universe Philippines is expected to be a harbinger of hope. How will Yes. You- How will you be that person when you are feeling overwhelmed with your own challenges and might feel helpless? I know I admit that I've been through a lot of struggles uh, prior to the activities now in MUPH and I actually uh, got physically tired and everything mentally tired. But I always go back to the reason why I joined Miss Universe and why I am here. It is because I am bringing the name of my province and I'm bringing hundreds of Surigaonans and they are expecting and they have that excitement that for the first time we have a representative to the national competition like MUPH. So despite all the hardships, um, I instill that within me that I have to cope up and I have to overcome this because I believe being into this kind of pageant and being a phenomenal, you have to be brave and you have to be strong and you have to overcome your fears and every challenges that comes your way so what really matters is you stood fast stay fast in all the circumstances that we are facing and uh, we have to really like be positive and as harbingers of hope we have to first uh, know ourselves we have to first instill strength within us and use everything, use the challenges in discovering our weaknesses and strengths. And finally, you'll be able to make a change and influence others in my own little way. What is more important for you, love or respect? I believe that in love, you can have respect for sure. That is a must in a relationship, any relationship, whether it be a partner or your best friend, or your family members, you need to have respect for one another because without it, a lot of things can happen and a lot of bad things can happen, like miscommunication. And that is something that we want to avoid in our relationships because we want to build healthy and sustainable relationships. What does that mean? That means open communication. If you have a problem, go and tell them. Please don't keep it within you. It is very important to be vocal and also share how you feel because we are not mind readers. We don't really know what's in your mind. So you have to say how you feel. And all of us have different love and how do you call that? Um, Love languages. We need to express it in our own way. And sometimes we need to explain. So we need to be patient. So what I would say is that when you have love, you must trust the person, you must respect them, and you should be loyal to them. Thank you. Well, for me, what is more important is love. Because if you have love for someone, true, true and genuine love, you will respect that person as well. You will not only respect that person, but also believe in that person and at the same time, trust that person. So after watching all of the interviews, have your favorites changed? Do you have new ones? Do you want to get to know them more? Actually, if you want to get to know them more, you can go to empire.ph and subscribe to the Ring Light series, which documents the journey of all the candidates.
Your subscription will also give you access to the preliminary interviews, to the national costume competition, evening gown and swimsuit competition, as well as the grand finale, commercial free. Let's hope for the best and good luck to all the ladies. Thank you very much to the Miss Universe Philippines organization. Thank you to all the ladies. This is Voltaire Tayag for Rappler.